As always guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. Have any of you builders ever have a car that just gave you so much trouble you thought the devil was controlling it? Well, that's what I thought was going on today. This is my 1964 Impala that I have painted over 14 times in two years. Anyways guys, hello and welcome back to the fish tank. I am Cole and today we have a 1964 Impala made by Hot Wheels and today this is my first commission build. Let's jump into it. So guys this is what we're playing with today. My 1964 pre-restored Impala. It looks very cool um, already. The paint's kind of ugly. I don't know why I chose that paint. But today we're going to revive this for a new customer of mine. He met me on Instagram and he DM'd me and he asked me, Hey, Kuda, can you move me a car? And I told him yes. Also guys, if you are curious, right before we jump into this video, I do do commissions. If you are considered in a commission, my link to my Instagram and my email will be in this video and down below. So if you're curious, we can talk. Anyways guys, so we finally got the car apart as you see here, and it was simple. All I did was glue it with some plastic glue, it really wasn't glued in there well, but that was before I had all my fancy materials that I have now. And we got a base, the casting, some nice glass, and a good set of wheels. So what I'm going to do is grab my chum bucket, throw our casting in, lock it up, and shake her well and then you can put sorry then you can put that off to the side so like I was telling you guys before this casting gave me a lot of trouble and it really bothered me because this car was a two-year project and it shouldn't have taken that long to do but it sadly did I painted this car guys with no joke 14 times in two years the car never wanted to get painted. It didn't matter what it was, it would always bubble up if I clear coated it, or it would, or when I was doing details, it would randomly mess up. And it was driving me crazy. But I'm glad I was able to finish this build, well, build plural, because something interesting happens later in the video. But. I'm still glad and grateful I was able to finish this video. Anyways, after we clean these pieces here, guys, we're going to move on to putting these off to the side in our spare weekly parts bin, as you see there. Nice, nice. And we're going to move on to our, our chassis here. Our chassis was in good condition, but all I did was originally was I glued in the axles there. And I really wanted to change that. So what I do is I'm going to grab my thin file. And I'm going to file all of that old glue because we don't need it in there and it's just going to get in the way. So once we are done filing this, we are going to get some square KMS axle tubing that I get in the random packs. A link to those will be down below. I get them on Amazon. They're pretty cool and it's kind of a risk to take if you do get them because you don't know what's going to be on them and that could be a complete issue. But guys, if you're curious on what I get just let me know and I will tell you where I find it and how much it is also guys if you guys want me to open like an Amazon uh, wish list type thing I would love to do that so you guys can see what I purchase and where I purchase it so as we finish up getting this glue off we are then like I said we're gonna grab our square I did not use round I use square tubing today because I, I was like I used this on a different build and it worked very very well so I'm gonna use it again and I was very happy with the final result so these are our wheel choice we got them off of a low rider I'm not really sure what casting was from I think it was an old Johnny Lightning that I knew I wasn't gonna do anything with like the roof was missing and stuff like that I might make it like a junkyard build but who knows yet so here is our steel tubing finally I can stop talking about it because you guys are probably annoyed with it and then we put those in and then we put our wheels in Next, we get the car out of the paint stripper, as always. Remember, guys, when you're dealing with this, wear your safety gloves, just to protect your hands. 
So, remember, before I move on, safety first, guys. So, we're gonna pull the car out here, and it was cheap, um, like, craft paint, so it really wasn't anything good. I'm honestly, this car sat in the stripper probably for three or four days, and it was probably done in 20 minutes or less. And it just, it just wiped off, in and out, but... Again, I like showing you guys this part because I just think it's very satisfying and just enjoyable to watch. I gotta think, Diecast Resurrection cannot wait till he comes back for starting this kind of point of view of a video because I always thought it was the most satisfying thing in his videos. So I was like, he's a great builder and I would love to pass on and remember some of his techniques and I'm just, just borrowing it after we finish up cleaning and scrubbing off our all of our old paint we're gonna move on to cleaning our casting so what I'm going to do for cleaning today is we're not going to use a wire brush, but we are going to use a piece of steel wool. What I'm trying to do more now, guys, is use more steel wool than use my Dremel tool. I kind of want to work a little bit more and work myself harder just to make a cooler product. And so far, guys, it has been working out perfectly, and I've been very, very happy with the results. Guys, you can do it any way you want. You can use your Dremel tool. You can use your steel wool. You can use your wire brush. It's completely up to you. It's completely optional. And no one's telling you otherwise. Because it's how you want to build the car. Speaking of building the cars, guys. You guys can build cars too. You can build cars like me. Matchbox Mark. Opal. Ron. Uh, you can even build cars like... Don over at Diecast Pirate. You can also build cars like Mike over at Mike's Mods and Customs. Guys, you can do this yourself. All it takes is a little bit of practice and a little bit of time, and you can produce some amazing cars. Also, guys, I wanted to bring up one little topic. If you guys haven't heard already, our good friend Paul over at Diecast Graveyard has gotten hacked he got hacked on friday and he lost his google account he lost his youtube and he's trying to get it back if you guys haven't already please go over to his facebook or his instagram and just wish him luck we all can't wait till you get back man and we all can't wait to see you post more videos i hope everything's well man and if you ever need anything you know you can always contact me so guys what we're doing here is i am fixing up my mistakes this was my first attempt like probably third attempt at doing a car and the posts were just god awful and i needed to sand them down smooth once we finish that we are going to move on to paint let's move on to paint kuda's diecast customs we'll be right back so guys, what we did for paint today, before the incident happened, was a simple Rustoleum's black. And this is right before I freaked out. So as you see here, there are two castings now. That is the original casting. The one that gave me troubles and the one that I threw on the ground. I sadly threw her on the ground and I broke her. So I decided to make a junkyard car out of her. And here's a new casting, freshly painted looking cool i apologize to my commission commission uh customer for breaking your original car but this is what we started with guys a pre-restored kuda's die cast customs car well really can't say that because this wasn't a kuda's die cast customs car it was just a coles in basement restoration so guys if you're ready i'm ready to see the final results. Guys, here is our final results. I think it turned out amazing. 
after getting it repainted for the 14th time, doing the details around in all the chrome, especially the trim pieces above the window and the doors and the rear. And also the front trim on the hood and our door handles. We also did the back piece and our headlight tail lights. We also, I believe it's a bit lower than the original, and also this car rolls. So, to my mystery commission kid, here's your build, man. I hope you enjoy, I hope you liked it, and guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share. I apologize if this one wasn't really educational or you didn't learn or anything, anything really out of it. I just, I was so frustrated with this car and low-key frustrated with this video. But I'm glad I got it done and I'm glad I got it out for you guys. I will see you later in the week. We got another fun and kind of different video coming at the end of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, just as a reminder, if you're in the Massachusetts area and you're a hobbyist, make sure to go check out our good friend Mike Gordon and Kevin Miller over at Turn 4 Hobbytown. We make your free time awesome!